Abraham Lincoln. Nelson Mandela. Mother Teresa. William Wilberforce. Martin Luther King Jr. Sometimes when someone speaks, everyone listens. But sometimes there are issues that people don't want everyone to hear. They'd like me to keep my mouth shut. They don't want me to speak out. What they realize is that I've got something to say, and they don't want you to hear it. They're enslaving millions of voices all over the world, and they're trying to enslave my voice along with them. And I'm here to tell you, no more. No more. No more. You see, we've got a real problem here. There are over 27 million enslaved all over the world. We're talking bonded labor, forced labor, and human trafficking. It is a $150 billion industry. That is more than Amazon, eBay, and Google combined. We need to be the voice for the 27 million enslaved. One fourth of them are children. 85% of countries globally are active in slavery. Slavery exists in all 50 states of the U.S. There are over 60,000 enslaved in our country. In fact, there are more slaves today than any other time in history. 100% of the world is affected by this crisis. These are facts that we cannot afford to ignore any longer. No more. No more. No more. 27 million voices suppressed, shut out, silence. It is our responsibility from God to speak up for them. Be the voice. Be the voice. Be the voice. Be the voice. Join us and take a stand. Be the one who speaks out for those who don't have a voice. Together we can rise above slavery and put an end to it. Together we can affect justice and change the world. It begins with one voice. Be that voice.